this behind the scenes video will be a perfect example when everything goes wrong. You just have to adapt to the situation and later on in post understand that your initial idea is a complete disaster thus you have to go out of your comfort zone and try creating something completely different. Initially we wanted to film a little commercial for Sony headphones but well that didn't happen so I ended up making something weird and some of my friends asked if I was high while making this video. Anyway enjoy the behind the scenes video and let me know what you thought about it. For almost three years, we've been pretty much shooting blindly. So that's why we got this uh, Feel World Ultra Bright uh, Lot 7 monitor. And uh, it's freaking huge, man. It's, it's super heavy. I can't say I'm really digging this setup. But I mean, I'll get used to I'll get used to it. What did we do? Yes, very nice. So today we're going to be shooting like a little video. It's going to be like a little advertisement for Sony. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like, nothing is planned. We basically only have a rough idea of the shoot. But other than that, we're just gonna be improvising. That's why I took her on this project, because uh, that's the best improviser I know. So yeah, it's gonna be fun times. It's gonna be fun times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very different from what I'm used to. It's like, I'm used to not seeing shit. So right now, I, it's, it's even judging the exposure is kind of difficult. Actually, we just got like really good idea. So we forgot to take a speaker, which is literally one of the most important freaking things you can take when filming with the dancer. But somehow, you know, everyone's always like, ah, the dancer is gonna take the speaker anyway, so you don't Seriously? have, I don't have to. Yeah. I don't even own the speaker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we got this like really cool idea. So I have the VH uh, Mark II Sony headphones, right? And after we film the intro, I'm just gonna be giving it to Annie and I'm not gonna tell her anything. She will be just walking around doing her own thing and I'm just gonna be filming her. Okay, so first shot's gonna be, she's gonna be walking from the left to the right. It's just gonna be like a simple... Um... It's so weird that you can finally show this on the monitor. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's so good. I want you to be very tiny. You're already very tiny, but I want you to be even more tiny. Perfect, okay, wait a bit, wait a bit, gonna... Okay, just very steady. But I want you to be even more tiny, so I'm gonna go uh, a bit further. Pretty good. Uh, it's kind of difficult to get used to the, the big screen. It's kind of slowing me down right now, but uh, I'm gonna try to get used to it because, I mean, it's the best way to get used to it. <laughs> Very interesting. Let me vibe check. One, go. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, this shit's so heavy. But it looks so good. There's something about the anamorphic image which, I don't know, it makes it look so different. So different. It, does, it looks like it shot on like a black magic or something. Oh, that was the easiest focus ever. Okay. And go. Okay, uh, again, it's very difficult. <laughs> This is more difficult than I thought. Yeah, 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 you just go straight into that tree. Yes, holy shit. Yeah, I really need to get used to this. One thing I gotta admit, I absolutely love the focus peaking, it's like, Usually I have to focus on this screen and it's very difficult. It's not easy, but this, this is just, man, I love it. And go ahead. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what Sony needs. Sony sponsors, please. We're trying our best. You know what? This is interesting. Normally, I'm a really run and type kind of a guy, and run and what? Run and gun type of a guy, you know. Type. <laughs> run and <laughs> run and type. <laughs> it's very difficult to get used to this. It's very difficult. I was not expecting it to be this challenging. Also, the weight, you know, because I work with the Weeble S now. Yeah, man, it's it's. Uh, I gotta get used to this, man. I gotta get used to this. Actually, now I wish to have like a little uh, focusing system right now because. It's so easy to focus with this lens 
And yeah, on the monitor, I could definitely see myself using, for the first time in my life, I can say that I would definitely see me using a focus pulling system. Have you ever heard that shit from me? No, 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 you haven't. Continue, let's continue. Oh, <laughs> the hell did you, did you just little, did you just like lay your head on a pycon or something? Yeah. That's sad. This is so much in the go. You know it would be, f ooh. Imagine if that was shit and you just put your head <laughs> like that. I would love that experience. Do that again. Let's die. All right, go for it. Oh, ooh, that was good. That was good. Keep going, keep going, yeah. What a terrible, sh like, uh, orbit shot that was. Okay, stay there, yeah. Okay, Annie, you ready? And three, two, one, go. I have a little spider on my lens, I like that. Three, two, one, go. I guess I, I know what you guys are gonna say. Why is this dumbass putting the monitor like on the side? I have no other way to mount it. I would, if I had the Weeble S with me right now, I would mount it like on the, you know, right uh, behind the camera, but since I don't, I guess I just gotta make do. Nice little squeaky toy sound effect. <laughs> Usually I'm confident about things, not this time, not this time. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, film the first shot with the gimbal and afterwards I'm just gonna go handheld because I don't know, I have a feeling I'm gonna feel more comfortable going handheld because this, I just gotta get used to it. I gotta practice a bit more, I gotta learn all the settings in the monitor. Even though it's like super simple, I still gotta like uh, practice a bit. I can't just already go out shooting. Feels like the older I get, the less I know what I'm doing with my life. Oh, the focusing is so easy. I love it, I love it. Beautiful. I gotta say my absolute favorite feature is the fact that uh, when I'm shooting anamorphic without this monitor everything looks so different like uh, when I I don't know I just don't know how to frame things properly when I go back home it just looks completely different now at least I see how it's gonna turn out already so that's fantastic absolutely bloody love it So good, like look, look, look at it. it looks so cinematic, it looks so good. It looks so good. So good. Get your ass out of the frame. And go. Stuff, you know, very professional, putting on the headphones, everything is nice. So we are, oh my god, this is the best feeling in the world. The fuck? <laughs> For those who are wondering, I am usually more professional, but today is just like a, such a, Chill, fun day, you know, so why not? That's why I'm being retarded. He's always like this, by the way. On a scale of one to 10, how painful is it to use a setup like this? I mean, I'm actually getting used to it, but I'm not getting any HDMI signal right now. Oh, I press something and I have no idea what happened. I suddenly see a lot of scopes. Okay, very interesting. This is what filmmaking is all about, guys. Damn, I suck at putting it in. Oh, wow, really? Nice. Now, like, the cable which came with, it's like kind of wobbly. So, 
They sent me a damaged HDMI. Great. Thank you, Phil World. I really appreciate it. The HDMI cable which came with this is uh, pretty much broken, I guess. It's a good thing I didn't take this on a shoot, like uh, on a paid shoot or something. I think it's completely broken now. Yeah. Well, that's very unfortunate. I literally unboxed this yesterday and the HDMI cable is already messed up. So I guess no more filming with the monitor. At least I tested it out and I know that it's gonna take some time to get used to, but I mean, it is what it is. And we're gonna continue filming blind. So this is very interesting. We found this like really dope spot where the trees are like leading lines into like a narrow path or something. So I guess that could represent uh, anxiety or something. I kind of want to challenge myself. And uh, since I'm pretty bummed out about the monitor, I guess, I'm just going to be going handheld because I mean, why not? With the gimbal, it's kind of, I wouldn't say too easy, but I just don't want to do it. I want to challenge myself. I want to do handheld and I have a feeling it's going to come out really dope. So let's try. The hardest thing is just keeping the focus because I can't see shh. <laughs> what happened? You just have to handle this. You just have to. Keeping the focus is so difficult, you can't even imagine, because I guess I have to be zoomed in all the time. I can't really see my framing right now, but at least I know that I'm in focus. 2.8 aperture. Get a super smile. <laughs> Interesting, I'm trying to get kind of the flare, but at the same time, very minimalistic movement to show what Annie really is capable of. All these emotions and... But man, this scene looks so good. Now I'm gonna try to get like a wide shot or something. Really, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I don't know. Annie is such a good dancer that anything she does is just, it looks incredible. I love it. Wow, this shot's actually really nice. Include any slow motion here. I just want a real. T Good job, good job, you're amazing. Let's warm you up. Yes. Yes, okay, a little, um, hopefully, all good. Okay, so, so, so far, I think we're around 20, 30% done, something like that. I mean, yeah, without the script, it's kind of difficult, but at the same time, I just wanted this project to be a little bit more fun, you know? I don't want to come here and be all serious and stuff. I just want to, play around with something and yeah I mean I wanted to play around with the monitor but since it doesn't work I have to use this <laughs> screen again and uh, yeah keeping focus on the screen it's impossible that thing is a game changer right there when you can focus on the screen I absolutely love it but yeah I guess we have to get a new HDMI cable right now right now though we're gonna go a little bit deeper into the forest and we're gonna try to find some creepy trees and do something with the nature I guess I'm still bummed out about the screen. I'm, I'm really sad, but come on, I'll take you with me. Let's go find some dough spots. Oh, super minimalistic moment. I'm telling you, orbit shots, this gimbal, they're so smooth. God damn it, my shadow.
Yeah, this is gonna be like a... You know what sells this effect really well is the fact that, you know, we have ND filters now and... Yeah, if we have those, it, it would just look weird. Guys, this looks incredibly weird. The stunts performed in this video are done by professionals. Just, look, it looks cool. just kick it. Inner happiness because if you look at Annie, she's just, she's not in this world right now, at all. That was a bad joke. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> you just had to ruin it. It was so good. <laughs> I'm going to tree. Mom, oh, get a wow. camera. Yeah, it looks so weird, right? Oh wow. The sad part is that I kind of wanted like a really moody scenario but since you know the sun is out and stuff i have to completely change up the plans which is no biggie oh, i'm down for that i'll come up with something but still i wanted to make something creepy i wanted to initially make the dress the white dress glow in the dark but i guess i have to scrap that with the shots here i really want to make them abstract like i want to frame those shots in a way i would never frame them i don't know i'm just having a bit of fun, I guess. Like my main goal with this video is to make the viewer feel kind of uneasy, like as if they're watching it and they're like, what the hell is going on? I'm not feeling this shot at all, but maybe, you know, sometimes you have this thing that you think that the shot is shit, but then you come home and you're like, man, that's a good shot. I have a feeling that we don't have enough so I think we need to film a little bit more just like some fillers I guess but uh, I don't know man I don't know uh, I think the footage is gonna be dope but we'll see what I can come up with because my initial idea was completely different you like that underexposed one keep watching it but uh, yeah as I said my initial idea was completely different I wanted a different mood I wanted a different story but uh, I mean the weather changed, the external monitors, of uh, HDMI cable broke, so very nice, very nice. Do you ever just... <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the weirdest shot ever. I'm probably gonna invert it in post. At the end of the day, it was a fun experience and even though we didn't create what we wanted, we still got some awesome shots and it boosted my confidence in doing handheld shots even more. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, go give Annie a follow on Instagram and as always, you know the drill, peace out.